So today we're gonna look at how to get that nice bloom effect right in Premiere Pro. And this sort of effect is usually achieved by adding a specific filter right in front of your lens, which in turn gives you that halation or bloom effect around your highlights in your footage and adds that nice soft texture while still retaining the sharpness. And in my opinion, it also makes your footage look more cinematic and gives it more of that film look. Now, if you don't wanna go out and buy a filter right away, you can achieve a pretty similar look in right in Premiere Pro. You can follow these steps for other editing softwares as well, but some of the effects used might have different name according to different softwares, so keep that in mind. Now with that said, let's dive right into Premiere. So right now we're in Premiere and you can see that I have some clips already laid out in the timeline to do the demo. So before starting the process, we have to understand what we have to do. We want that nice bloom effect only in our highlights and not in our shadows so that we can maintain our contrast and also the sharpness. And to do that, first of all, what we have to do is duplicate our clips. So press down the Alt key or the Option key on Mac and drag your clip up to the upper layer and that will create a duplicate. After that, go to the effects and search for Gaussian blur and apply it to the duplicate clip. And I'm going with a random number as it doesn't really matter right now because we're going to change it afterwards. So let's say 25. And after that, uh, let's change the blending mode of the duplicate clip from normal to screen so that we can make sure that it's only showing something that's not black, which will help us maintain our contrast values. Now you can see that it sort of looks like what we are after, but not quite yet. You can see that the bloom effect is currently all over the place. It's in the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, but we really just want it in the highlights. So what we have to do is we have to tell Premiere to only target a certain luminance value in the clips. And to do that, we have to go again to the effects and search for Luma key and apply it to the duplicate layer. And make sure that the Luma key effect is above the Gaussian blur. And Luma key is as just as it sounds, it helps you key out certain different luminance values or brightness value in a clip. And as you can see, there are two options, thresholds and cutout. And the easiest way that I could think of to explain it is you can think of threshold as your shadows and the cutoff as the highlights. As you can see, the threshold is already at 100%, but if we uh, bring it down to 0%, it, the bloom effect is just like it was before. It's still going all over the place, but if we bring it back to 100, it's not affecting the shadows anymore. So the threshold is for the shadows. You should usually keep it at 100%, but it's up to you. And the cutoff controls the highlights. So it's just personal preference now. You have to mess around with it to find what you like. But I just go with something like 15 to 20 around something and that, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now, after that, what we have to do is mess around with the Gaussian blur because that is going to control how thick or dense the uh, bloom effect is. So currently it's 25, uh, I guess it's too much. Uh, what I do is go, go with something like 15 or maybe 10, but again, it's personal preference. You have to mess around with it to figure out how you like it. I usually go with something like 10, 15 or 20 maybe, and that in my opinion looks pretty good. And if you think the exposure is a bit too extreme, there are a couple of ways you can fix that. You can change the opacity of the duplicated layer. So let's say 70%. It will bring down the opacity, but it will also affect the uh, halation or the bloom. So what I do besides that is I just change the brightness from Lumetri panel and just let's say bring down the exposure or something. It brings down the overall exposure without affecting the bloom that much. So I prefer this way, but you can do either way. And there you go, you have the bloom or hylation effect. Now, as you saw, it's pretty simple to do. It's just basic two effects and like changing the blending mode to achieve something that looks this good. And you can easily copy this effect to other clips as well. Firstly, you have to duplicate other clips like this one, change the blending mode to screen, and then just copy the Luma key and the Gaussian blur, paste it to the next clip like that, and there you go. You have the bloom effect in the other clip. In my opinion, this effect looks much better on a darker scene where you have like lights or you're shooting in the night and stuff. So for example, this clip is pretty dark. I'm gonna do the same thing, change the blending mode to screen, duplicating, duplicating it beforehand, and then just gonna paste these effects. That looks pretty good, but I have to maybe uh, change some settings for this, I guess. It doesn't work universally. You have to ch change effects according to the clip you're working with. So I'm gonna add like uh, maybe that much and go with, let's say 25. See, and that looks pretty good right there. That right there 
is the before and that's the after and in my opinion this looks much better in a dark scene whereas compared to something like this where it's overly bright so you can't really tell where the halation is going around but still it looks pretty clean it has that like film look to it and yeah that was pretty much it for today's video i guess if you have any questions just drop them down in the comments below and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye